my name is Stan Huber, and then I was transferred to uh, the pre-commissioning crew for the USS Biddle, which was DDG-5. The Biddle, like I say, we just did a, uh, we hadn't got into any of that. We uh, did our shakedown crews, and then uh, after that we came out, and we were, it was going to be home ported out of Norfolk, Virginia again. And we did do a uh, Fleet Week deal, and we did go into New York Harbor. So we did, when I was on the middle, we did go into New York for their Fleet Week deal for, I don't know how many days that was, but, and then we went back to uh, Norfolk, and then, uh, and then, uh, and then also when I was on the middle, uh, I came home on leave, took a leave, and I no more got home. Of course, that time, the, isn't, you don't fly as much as we did, so I took a bus and bus home and I got home and I no more got home and the phone rang and I know my sister answered it because she talks about it and she said it was very and she was younger I'm my younger sister asked the phone she says this guy and I said well no Stanley Huber was there and so she got me to the phone and my sister says all oh, she remembered me saying yes sir yes sir <laughs> and and that was the time that I got called back to United, so I had to go find a plane and get back to my ship as soon as possible. My leave was canceled, and I was lucky enough that I did get back to the ship in time before I left port. Because <laughs> there are some guys who didn't get back in time, and they wound up having to cruise around the Caribbean and down there by, in their which is, gets pretty hot down there, and all they had was their blues that they were wearing when they were up north in the cold, so they didn't have uh, all the, but I did have the comforts of my own equipment aboard ship, so. Well, I do remember we, had, we did pull up, uh, and not being uh, as privy to all the information that was going on, just being a, a lowly uh, ET on board ship, you didn't get all the information, but I do know we came up alongside uh, uh, one of the ships, and you could see that there was uh, uh, missiles on it or something on there. And of course, they had them all covered over in a freighter. Then, and so we kind of made sure that we escorted them out of our waters and going across the ocean. And, but we were just making sure that they was going out. And we didn't board it or anything like that. But I know we went alongside them or followed them along alongside them for a while. And, Make sure they got out of our waters, and I guess, and then we turned off. And we, when I went to the Biddle, of course, now we went down, and we, I know we was in. I spent time in Cuba, at Guantanamo Bay, uh, and I can't remember if I was on the Murray at the time or the Biddle, and and then we hit. We were in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and St. Thomas Islands, and we went to the Bermudas, uh, and spent as we was. But that was on between those two ships in my time, and I can't remember exactly which ship I was on and what, where it was at, but because the shakedown crews on the Biddle, when I was on it, we hit all these islands just to go out, and we were just learning, you know, what didn't work on the ship and all that stuff. Of course, then I had to go back to Philadelphia to repair the stuff that wasn't working right. The one I really re remember was uh, San Juan. Is, because they had a, and it was kind of interesting to walk around and the streets were narrow and the old uh, town and, and they had a, uh, and they had a, the fort, yeah. there was an old, mm -hmm. uh, El World War, or I don't know, old fort down there, I don't know when they were built, but I knew, and it was for the sea protection and all that stuff and it was really kind of, it's just nothing I had ever seen before, uh, of course, and then, but, the poverty that he had seen there was, and you could, because there's a part off by the, uh, off of the fort, off the wall, you could look, and there were some people living in pretty dire, this is something I had never seen before. And so, like I say, it, it was, uh, actually we were it, probably in peacetime, so it was a peacetime duty that I was on, so it was you know, not very much excitement, but I do know that at that time it was, a just before I got out, they were going to start the start of the Vietnam crisis, but uh, 
I w didn't really get involved in that really, but because of my timing, I was in there. But I mean, they had just started out, but it was 